Recording now. Awesome. Hi. <laughs> so that was interesting. That was a wild <laughs> adventure for sure. It was, it, yeah, insane. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of insane. Hey there again. So this is going to be Hi. Um, property number five yeah. that we're looking at. So we're heading off again. It's still day three since we started hunting. Yeah. <laughs> so day three of our homestead hunt, property number five. We're going to take y'all with us. And he wants to hear wheel, wheels on the bus go round and round. So we're going to take off right <laughs> Keep now. Keep the kid happy. <laughs> hit the road and um, take, take y'all with us. So thanks. Yay. Thanks for hanging out. Let's go. To see the property. <laughs> no, no. It was, it, yeah, insane. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of insane. We had looked at one property early in the day, which is actually the video before this. So if you haven't watched that video, there should be a link. I think somewhere up here. You can click on that and watch the first property that we looked at today. Um, well, and now the only property. <laughs> <laughs> this is the second property we attempted to visit today. Right. But yeah, we, we didn't. We didn't get to see it. We didn't get to see it. No, and it's not because our realtor wasn't there. She was there and the property owner was there, but we weren't because... Because we couldn't find it. We couldn't find it. We couldn't find it. We drove an hour and a half northwest of where we currently are mm -hmm. to look at the second property we we're going to look at today. You know, the drive went pretty much without a hitch. It was really beautiful out where we oh, drove, yeah. but it started to get really remote. Our service started to kind of get spotty with our cell phones. I think fortunately with Google Maps, once you route your phone somewhere, it kind of knows how to get there regardless. But once you try to route anywhere else, we've learned, when you don't have service, you're kind of, well... <laughs> on your own. You're, you're kind of SOL. Yeah. <laughs> we were out somewhere really remote, and where Google told us to go, the, the road that it said to go on wasn't a road. There yeah, we got like, to the point where there was like the fork in the road. We were supposed to turn left. And it was just like a line of trees. And then we saw like this little tiny gravel driveway with a, It wasn't even gravel. It was, it was like just grassy, grass. Grassy, it was just grass. With like this fence, like a metal fence, like for cattle or whatever. And that was it. But it was supposed to be like a county road, county road 239 or whatever. So we're like, well, so we turn around, found us about to turn around, turn around and look again. We're like, oh my God. So we literally drove past the same spot again. Yeah, to like double check. Are you sure there's no road here? Like, are we yeah, missing Just something? to see if we missed something. No. So we drove back again. And it just, it was clearly an old, really, really old like like driveway, trail maybe. Like trail, yeah. But again, it didn't look like anyone had driven out for a while. It was literally just grass. And it looked like it was <laughs> kind of off-road. And we have an SUV, but I wasn't going to take the risk. And then, yeah, to unlatch somebody's It was not a county gate. road, yeah. We drove to a little ways. To where we could get reception. Get yeah. reception. And... Well, the first time I think we tried to reroute, we were trying to find a way around this road, basically. Because there a different way that we could take, yeah. Right, so we were trying to, we tried to kind of drive past that and kind of drive up some roads, but even then, it just, Google just kept trying to take us that same way. Like, it tried to just turn us around. Like, turn around in a circle and go back to the spot where there's no road. And we're like, there's no yeah, road. Yeah, there's no road, Google. You just need to learn there's no road. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And, like, we're watching the clock tick. I'm like, oh, my gosh, our realtor is going to meet us there. So, at this point, it's, like, 15 minutes till we're supposed to be there. So, we're like, okay, let's just drive kind of back the way we came from and find where we can get cell reception. So, we can, like, call her and be like, hey, like, we can't find it. <laughs> So we did. We found a little patch where we could call and I was talking to her for a bit and trying to explain and as soon as I said, you know, we're kind of lost and she's like, I figured and 
Um, and then we lost reception again. So I was like, oh my God, like the call dropped. I'm like, you're <laughs> kidding me. Because we had a sliver. So then we kept driving farther back, I mean, towards home, essentially. Um, found another patch where we got reception. I called again. And this time um, I talked to the realtor again. They're like, okay, where are you at? Where? And I'm like, we don't know. Like, I, not really. Like our phone is no reception. So we're like in the middle of nowhere, essentially. And so then the owner of the property, it's for sale by owner. So he gets on the I phone. I heard him yell on the phone like, oh, oh, oh. I know where that is. <laughs> he sounded like this sweet old man. Yeah, like, adorable. oh, oh, I, I know where that is. But his <sighs> his directions <laughs> it was like we got directions to this jb swasson road oh no it's called swasson road also so like we tried to find i was like okay i think we could try to find swasson he's like if you get on there turn right then turn left and da, 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 da. i'm like all right let's just find that road and then we'll figure out the rest it was totally like, like the... find Swasson, find Ridge. Okay, if we can find those roads, and then his roads right off of that. But it, but it was totally like the when you hit the railroad tracks, you've gone too far kind of, those, of directions. So like... it was like all this like circle of directions <laughs> back and forth, like when you see the old trade shop or whatever, it's like then you, you turn right or something. But it's like, but it depends on what direction you're coming from. So like, well, we're going north, we're trying to go north, but yeah. So it was like so confusing. Well, don't forget too, some of the road names. He's like, oh, some people call it this. But some people call the road this. It's yeah, like, oh yeah, yeah. So it's also called this, but it's probably labeled as this. So we're like, oh my god. So we finally found. So he said, look for Swasson. All right. So we looked for Swasson. We found a JB Swasson. I'm like, all right, this is the one. Swasson, JB Swasson, same thing. So we turn on to it. I'll let you pick up the story here. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we turn on to it, and it's essentially it's, like, is it dirt? Road, it's pretty or is much it dirt. There was there was hardly any gravel. It was mostly dirt, and it was kind of. Starting to get dark, of course. We're like, hard like it to wasn't see. the kind of trail like, okay, you're gonna go straight, just keep going, and there's <laughs> gonna be like properties. It literally was like a winding path through the middle of nowhere. Literally, you would you would be driving and see what you know Google thought was another road was basically somebody's driveway, and their house would be right, right there. But it was very it was very very remote, and it was literally just dirt roads. There's no mailboxes. There's no road signs. Right. It's literally just a trail going through. Right. And supposedly there's roads out here. But it's, well, eventually we get to the end. Actually, we get to the yeah. end, and like it's a freaking dead end. There was it said like so and so's family farm, and there was a <laughs> gate, of course, so you couldn't go through. And then the other way had another gate. There was like a fork, and we're like, all right, we're at a dead end. So we turn around. I'm like, all right, there's this little gray line. It looks like it could be a road. Maybe that's the ridge road we're supposed to look for. So we find, we travel all the way back through the dirt road, and then we're like, was it this way or this way? Is that a drive? I think that's a drive. I think we keep from that way. Finally get to this little gray line that looks like a promising maybe something. By this time, it's what, like a half hour after we're supposed to be there. I'm like, Possibly oh my even God. after, because we, you gotta think we spent all that time also just talking on the phone, trying to find spots for a second. I think it was, like, I think it was easily over an hour. Probably. It was so getting so late. And then by that time, the baby had been in the car forever. And so he's getting a little antsy. I'm like, Oh God, we're running out of time. And we're still an hour and a half from home. Like once we find the place, we have to go in and look at everything. And then we'll have a crabby baby and then we have to drive an hour and a half home. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we find the little gray lines coming up. It's coming up and we get, I'm watching on my phone. I see it coming up. Get ready. Get ready to turn here. And we look and it's just like a fence. I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. So at this point, was that when I was just like, we're going home? Yep. I was so like, home. so beyond the point of like trying to call and figure it out again. Cause it was, yeah, probably at that point it was at least an hour after. So, but luckily I, I think we did forget this. So when we, when we finally did get cell reception earlier, when we were trying to get directions, I knew that if I didn't set home on my phone, so we could get home so that we would have a hard time finding our way home. So thankfully, yeah, when we were there, even though she was still trying to navigate and talking to the phone, owner, <laughs> I set directions. my phone to home because I knew <laughs> that we wouldn't have we wouldn't have a service. Oh, well, I called and she didn't answer. That's right. So I, then I texted and I was like, we're just going to head home. Like the baby's getting squirmy. Mm -hmm. I didn't tell her this, but I was just like, just because the situation sucked, I was pissed. Like, right. We drove an hour and a half there to nothing. We went another hour trying to find this road that didn't exist. It was like this road in the middle of nowhere after finding directions from the guy. And then another little road that didn't exist. So I was so just like, like mad pissed, you know, to just like, ah, yeah. let's go home. It's going to gonna go be home. a late night, which means, you know, when you have a child, like the next day or two is going to be his sleep schedule is all crazy. And... 
by that point we had been in the car so much because we had to drive to the first property that morning you know you're just in the car forever and you're like oh my god i just want to get out of this car so between stopping <laughs> like getting food getting gas oh that day total we were probably in the car six hours oh my gosh yeah like, and our baby was being so good yeah. we were so fortunate Wesley i brought puppets an and i brought the tablet and i brought like toys and snacks and tried to keep it fun but by that point i'm like oh my god <laughs> just go home yeah so. it was quite the ordeal we never saw the property it was beautiful too and that's what sucked because like We've been like searching for this per perfect place to like settle down, and it's seemingly looked to check all the boxes. Oh, it looked awesome! It was awesome. like 17 acres. It had a beautiful pond. It was kind of like he's always been like loving log cabins, so it was like kind of log cabin, lodgy looking house, and like just looked beautiful. And the garage. So, the oh yeah, garage it was huge too. like workshop area. Like Almost huge. the size of the house. It was I think it was a thousand square feet. A thousand just, square like, feet. Like warehouse open. You could use it as a shop or whatever you want. I'm like, oh my God, this and is I perfect. And I want. And it's like in the middle of nowhere, secluded. You know, it just seemed like amazing. But when we got home, I was like so mad that I was determined. Like I've got to see where this is so i tried to like <laughs> now that i have good reception i'm at home and it wi-fi i'm gonna look this up again and i tried to look it up again and their only way into like that part of that area is the one road that doesn't exist <laughs> which which almost makes me feel more crazy it's like so twilight like, zone because she got something. there he was there Our, is, <laughs> yeah we're like is there some weird like dimension that we've like entered into that we can't see the real world it's kind of there but kind of, we're like straddling the line between two dimensions we felt crazy yeah. Like literally felt yeah, crazy. Yeah, you feel crazy because you're like, I, I don't know how to find this house and <laughs> right. it supposedly exists. Mm, that was so frustrating. Like All right, so so what was the takeaways? <laughs> right, we learned some things, I think. Oh my God. And maybe, you know, maybe other people can learn from this. You know, people that are trying to look for land and want somewhere more remote, even if you're not homesteading, maybe you just want to find a cabin that's remote or you are looking for just a home that's remote. Right. Here's some things that we learned that we could go back in time and tell ourselves we definitely would <laughs> the f <laughs> it's gonna sound corny though <laughs> why does it sound corny well no i the first one print directions it sounds so like but it's true 1990s here's the, thing. <laughs> here's the thing you don't when you're going somewhere really remote there's no guarantee that right? you're going it's to true. have service there it's and true. that's something we learned if we would have printed directions I think at least then because there was the danger too of us not being able to get home right and then it actually happened the was it the first day we looked at properties where we went somewhere the last property of that day we literally i wish we would have had the gopro that day that's <laughs> how that house is another another story to that's tell. a whole nother it's story been an adventure, you guys yeah it's been an adventure <laughs> but yeah that's something anyway. i think i think that's lesson number one is if you are going to go somewhere that you feel like is remote or maybe you're you're just looking for rustic home living in general make right. sure you bring a backup bring right. a map Print out directions, as corny as it sounds. You Plan definitely... for the what ifs, because you never know. We yep. learned the hard way. You never know. You never know. <laughs> number two, you want to do number two? Sure. So this property seemed to check everything off our list. There was a couple things it didn't check off though that were priorities. So for example, we have a son that's two years old. When he gets a little bit older, he's gonna wanna have friends and have access to go and, you know, hang out with his friends or even when he's younger, like play dates, uh, you know, stuff like that. Activities and swimming lessons and we wanna get him into karate maybe. If we could find a little karate dojo, that'd be pretty cool. Stuff like that, if you're too remote, you have to literally drive everywhere for everything. Um, and it might be like a 20 to 30 minute drive just to the nearest conveniences. So that was something that was important to us, but it was so easy for us to kind of, at least for me, almost like put that, like compromise, I guess. Like be like, it's important, but there's all these other things that it fits our needs so well. It seems so perfect. Keeping the, the important things in mind, regardless of how perfect it might seem and how easy it might be to just like brush those things aside because the eye candy's right there and you're like oh my god well in our case it was so close yet we couldn't see it yeah, so see it. <laughs> it's easy to kind of brush away some of the priorities and then in hindsight you might be like oh well now i can see it probably wasn't the best so let's talk about some examples with this one proximity to amenities being far away from any friends that wesley might want to have so it was super well he does tech for a living right now and we want to do the YouTube channel and being so remote, it'd be really hard to get any kind of internet access. So, right. so yeah, all of those important things we would have kind of pushed aside for 
everything else, almost compromising in a way. So. And then one thing we learned too was that the further you are away from the fire department, it can actually cost more for your insurance. Within 15 miles of the fire station, if it's more than that, and your insurance is, will go up. Right, and this is something you don't know until you kind of look it up. And right. it's, you know, I think the, really the big thing is that we learned about those things is that you don't, it doesn't kind of hit you until you're out there and you're lost. Yeah. And you start to realize how far you, out you are. But for us, I still need to work in tech to get us along until the homestead's established. We need income coming in, right. maybe for a long time. We're going to need to go to the grocery store right. sometimes. We're going to need hardware store. To yeah, put hardware stuff on store. The it's going to take a while to establish the things we need. And right. to be that remote, it really, once you're out there, it really presses upon you like, do I want to live this remote? Right. Like, yes, we want privacy. Yes, we want to be able to do the things we need. We want the right. land to have not have regulations that stops us from doing the things we want right. to do. But we want, do we want to live somewhere so far out that if we run into problems while we're starting out, that we are going to have to drive an hour and a half? We need to go somewhere to see a doctor or whatever. Right. Or we need the police to help us with something because we're just getting started. And we need, income needs to keep coming in for a while. So yeah, I think, I think being, it was almost like as much as this was really kind of a blow at first where it hurts. It's like, oh, I really was excited. Right. I wanted to go look at it. Maybe this was a diamond in the rough. The listing wasn't that great. I think if we hadn't have done that, those that second, that number two of maybe some properties are too remote for us wouldn't have sunk in for me. Yeah. Like I realized I want somewhere now where we have some access to amenities that we may need. And so it kind of changed what properties looked the best to me in my mind, yeah. like what fit our needs. It kind of goes to almost the third point we want to talk about was like, sometimes things don't work out and that's okay. And you have to roll with the punches and adapt. And I think that's what happens. Like our needs adapted then. Yeah. And you won't know until you experience it or someone else experiences it. So hopefully we do this video and <laughs> someone that is, you know, earlier in the stages than us, or is at the same point as us watches this and goes, oh gosh, I still need to have internet for this and satellite internet's not going to be good enough. Or we're not going to be able to produce any food probably for a while. I mean, we, we're going to have to do everything from scratch, right. start a garden, um, you know, get, get chickens to have eggs and raise the, well, raise the chickens. They're going to have to, you know, become old enough to produce eggs and build the structures and everything. So as much as it hurt, as much as it stunk. To have half our day wasted to waste the gas Very and i want to touch on something on the adapting note i'm a big dreamer so when it comes to like we've been wanting to do this for a while the homesteading thing we worked really hard to get to the place we are today to where we're actually house hunting like so exciting that we're actually doing this with being a dreamer i get almost hung up on like i want that life so bad so when there's something like this property that seems like oh my gosh the whole day i'm looking at the map like okay we could put this here we could put this here i wanted you know we could finally do this and we can do that and i'm really quick to enter in deep to that dream and reality like mixing the two and so when something like you know like tonight happened i think it was harder for me because I was already so immersed in the idea of this being the one and it's just it's it's a hard line to straddle it's good to like to dream but for me I, I learned that I have to pull back a little bit and not be too emotionally invested because it really I was pissed I mean I'm not gonna lie I was so mad just because we couldn't get there and I was so excited about like this could be it this is perfect I'm trying to find balance I guess in anything we do like trying to find balance where you're excited and you could see potential but not being too emotionally tied to it when you haven't even seen it yet and being like he said roll with the punches I need to do that more I'm not good at that I don't switch gears easy <laughs> Lessons learned, it's made us better people, and hopefully there's something else out there. We really liked that first property, so we'll see what happens with that. We're gonna talk about that tonight and see if maybe that's the one we wanna put in our It was the second we'll property, see. technically. It was the first property today. Yeah, so we've seen- Well, actually, seen technically one, it was- The third total, right? Third. No, fourth Oh total. yeah, fourth. Because the first two we haven't told you about, there are two really creepy houses. We'll get to those. Those are stories <laughs> we'll themselves. Another video, and yeah. then, yeah, the really pretty house that was over budget, and then the one we saw today. The one this morning, and then the one, the fifth one would have been the one we never yep. found. The one we never found. So <laughs> doesn't exist. Interesting. So we have a lot to think about. We're kind of tossing around the expensive ones. That's the one that I loved. It has a lot of charm, but it's 
over budget. But then this other one from this morning is beautiful too. So we'll see. Lots to lots to think about. Lots to talk about. Yep. So. So yeah, that's that was our interesting story for the day. Yeah. <laughs> well, as always, we really appreciate you guys hanging out with us, following us along in our story, and we're really excited to continue to bring you along. So. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. <laughs> From the closet. <laughs> like, we'll explain that Over to you. and out. <laughs> Hi there. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button as it helps us out tremendously. You can also help support the channel by clicking that subscribe button. And if you'd like to be notified the next time we post a new video, click the bell icon as well. Thanks so much. We will see you next time.